Welcome to Edgesmart. Thank you for joining us for this quick how-to video with Edgesmart. This video will focus on how to create and use live lessons. Live lessons are designed to be used with synchronous instruction for teacher-led content. Generally, to create a live lesson, you'll need to create a playlist of the content you want to use before you begin instruction. To build a live lesson playlist, navigate to the content library and then use the drop downs on the main navigation bar to choose your grade level, language, and body of knowledge that you want to use for instruction. Or you can click on the tile to find the instruction you're looking for. Once you have navigated to the content, you'll be able to see all the student and teacher resources available for each standard. Generally, for a live lesson playlist, you'll want to add resources such as the instruction module that are designed to be teacher-led. However, please note, any component can be used either in a live lesson or as an assignment. The choice is up to you how you prefer to present the content in the classroom. For example, an assessment can be used live in the classroom as a review to allow the teacher to go over each question and answer choice in detail. To add a component to the playlist, click on the tile for that piece of content and click Playlist at the bottom of the tile. You'll notice my Playlist button here at the top of the screen has increased by one. For the purpose of this demo, I will add a couple of instruction modules and I'll go back and add the assessment for this module. When I've added all the components that I would like to use to the playlist, I can then click on the playlist button and choose live lesson. From here, I'll want to verify that the information at the top of the screen is correct and then give the live lesson a, an appropriate name. This can be based on your preference, but it's often best to be as specific as possible because live lessons do save year after year. In this example, I will title this Big Idea 14 and the date that I wish to present the instruction to my class. You'll notice that there are many additional options on the playlist screen, including adding notes or arranging the playlist or adding um, additional resources. Once you have completed the lesson as you would like it, you can click Save Live Lesson. This lesson is now on your workspace ready to go out to the students. You can think of the workspace as your digital teacher's desk. Once on the workspace page, you'll notice a list at the top of the page, including live lessons, which will show the live lesson that I just created. From here, you have the option to share your playlist with others in the district, make changes to your playlist, or click Start Live Lesson to begin instruction. This will take me to the screen where I can see all the components of the playlist and click start in order to begin presenting the information to my students. Thank you so much for joining us for this quick how-to. As always, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at edgesmart.com.